Welcome to the lesson on the symmetry tolerance. Your goal for this lesson is to interpret the symmetry tolerance. When you're finished with this lesson, you should be able to Describe the term symmetry. Describe the tolerance zone for a symmetry tolerance. List four requirements of a symmetry control. Interpret a symmetry control application. Describe one difference between symmetry and tolerance of position, RFS. Describe one common application for symmetry. Describe how a symmetry control can be inspected. It will take approximately 15 minutes to complete this lesson. Symmetry is the condition where the median points of all opposed elements of two or more surfaces of a feature of size are congruent with the datum axis or datum center plane of a datum feature. A symmetry deviation is the amount that median points can be located from the datum center plane. Symmetry is where the blank of all opposed elements of two or more surfaces of a feature of size are congruent with the axis or center plane of a datum feature. You're correct. Symmetry is where the median points of all opposed elements of two or more surfaces of a feature of size are congruent with the axis or center plane of a datum feature. Click the right arrow to continue. A symmetry tolerance is a geometric tolerance that limits the symmetry error of a part feature. A symmetry tolerance always requires a datum feature reference. The tolerance zone for a symmetry tolerance is two parallel planes centered about the datum axis or center plane. The distance between the planes is equal to the symmetry tolerance value. You should remember these four requirements for a symmetry tolerance. 1. Symmetry must contain a datum feature reference. 2. Symmetry must be applied to a planar feature of size. 3. A symmetry tolerance must always be specified at RFS and RMB for the datum feature references. 4. The center plane of the tolerance feature must be shown congruent with the datum axis or center plane of the datum features referenced. A symmetry tolerance may be used without datum feature references. You're correct. A symmetry tolerance can be applied at RFS. You're correct. Click the right arrow to continue. A symmetry tolerance can be applied to a planar feature of size. You're correct. A symmetry tolerance is two parallel planes centered about the datum axis or center plane. You're correct. Click the right arrow to continue. When specifying symmetry, remember that the following conditions apply. The tolerance zone is two parallel planes centered about the datum axis or center plane. The symmetry tolerance value defines the width of the tolerance zone. All median points of the tolerance feature must be within the tolerance zone. A symmetry tolerance must always be specified at RFS and RMB for the datum feature references. A symmetry tolerance zone may be cylindrical. You're correct. A symmetry tolerance is always applied at RFS. You're correct. Click the right arrow to continue. A symmetry tolerance applies to the median points of the tolerance feature. You're correct. The symmetry tolerance value determines the size of the tolerance zone. You're correct. Click the right arrow to continue. A symmetry tolerance application is described here. In a rotating application, a symmetry tolerance limits the amount of force due to mass imbalance. In this application, the median points of the 40 width must lie within a 0.1 wide tolerance zone about datum plane A. A symmetry tolerance is used in applications where precise balance is critical. You're correct. Click the right arrow to continue. 
When dimensioning symmetrical features, you can use several geometric tolerances. On parts that require precise balance, you can use tolerance of position or profile. This chart shows a comparison between symmetry and tolerance of position, RFS. As you can see, the major difference between symmetry and position is that with position, the center plane of the actual mating envelope must be within the tolerance zone. With symmetry, the median points of the tolerance feature must be within the tolerance zone. One difference between tolerance of position, RFS, and symmetry is that tolerance of position applies to the center plane of the blank of the tolerance feature, and symmetry applies to the blank of the tolerance feature. You're correct. A difference between position, RFS, and symmetry is that tolerance of position applies to the center plane of the actual mating envelope of the tolerance feature, and symmetry applies to the median points of the tolerance feature. Click the right arrow to continue. When inspecting the symmetry requirement of this part, first, the part is mounted on its datum feature. Next, the location of datum plane A is established. A series of two-point measurements are taken. The median points are calculated and compared to the tolerance zone. A symmetry tolerance can be verified with a functional gauge. You're correct. Click the right arrow to continue. You've just completed the lesson on the symmetry tolerance. If you're not confident in your understanding of these topics, review the information before proceeding. Close this window to exit the lesson.